day 33. It's harder to count like this than, <laughs> wait a minute, 31, 32, 33, day 33. It's, I'm going to have to leave a little calendar in front of me because it's actually February 2nd, but it's day 33. You guys know what I'm talking about. Well, today's a pretty exciting day. It is Super Bowl. I have grown up with football. As some of you may know, my father played for the CFL, and he was um, he's in the CFL Football Hall of Fame. And his brother was, for years and years and years, the head uh, official for the NFL and officiated the Super Bowl many, many times. So my parents have gone several times to the Super Bowl. So having a football game on, on Sundays is very, very calming to me. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's just home, you know? So, <clears throat> excuse me, Super Bowl Sunday and Grey Cup Sunday, which is the equivalent of the Super Bowl for Canadians, it's just home. That does not mean I can draw a football, though. You would think I could. You'd think any human being could draw a football, right? I think my problem is I think about it too much instead of just going ahead and drawing whatever it is I'm drawing, you know? There. And then it has stitching on it right about here. And some stitch marks. That's a football for sure. It's either an eyeball or a football, right? <laughs> um, so, also, today is the palindrome. Do you guys know what that is? I didn't know. Well, I knew, but I didn't know. It's a day where you can say the date. It's a palindrome date. It's a day where you can say the date forwards and backwards, like 0202-2020. Backwards is 0202-2020. Which is kind of cool, hey? So, yeah, I'm going to have that marked on my, um, on my inchy as well. I think it's cool. So. There, that's all traced around. And so I now have to get a nice color of a football. It's kind of orange, it's kind of brown. This isn't really it, but maybe if it's in a lighter shade... Kind of buckskin, I guess they call it. So we'll just rub this all around my brush. I am feeling a bit better today, but I am still in my jammies and not doing too much, that's for sure. It's lying low. It's so hard to tell, like you don't know, is this a reaction to medication? Is this the flu? Is, you know, you just never know. I'm pretty sure it's medication, though. But I'm feeling better, and that's all that counts. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run a little bit of yellow over top. Well, maybe that's a good football color. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I won't mess it up. And then for my background, let's see... I think they're in Florida, and it's very sunny and very pretty and yellowy and green. So I think I'll do two shades of colors. I'm going to use that Toulouse Lautrec green. That's the only one I know off by heart. Oh, I didn't even say the name of this one was Gauguin. So I'll put the green down here. And did you see how I wrote the letters upside down? And uh, so it's like a palindrome. It's so funny because Super Bowl's on. I actually really want, I think it's the Chiefs, the one with that really young quarterback. But I, my biggest thing is always halftime show and the anthem. I hate, if I miss the anthem, I'm so sad. And Richard's not home. He went to uh, one of the boys' hockey games. So he's hoping to get back. And we always have, like, Super Bowl food and stuff. 
So this morning he's like, so what do you want? I'm like, oh, right now, nothing. But now that I feel a little bit better, maybe uh, chicken wings or something like that. I don't know. And then maybe I'll put a little bit of blue for the blue sky. Just cause, cause it's fun. So I don't know how many of you are watching this Super Bowl, but I'm sure you're hearing about it on all the different news outlets and stuff. My dad, a little bit of trivia, actually won three Grey Cup rings, which is the Canadian of, uh, equivalent of the Super Bowl. So yeah, I've got one of them upstairs in my jewelry box, as a matter of fact. There. So I'm just going to let this dry and ink around it, and that is my day 33. Inchy, inked around, and um, I did the play on the palindrome 0202 2020 and then 0202 2020. Very, very cool. And I hope you guys are enjoying the game with friends or enjoying just friends and snacks or just enjoying snacks by yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I continue to feel better. And um, as always, if Richard finishes this today, I will add it on at the end. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Here's Richard Inchi for day 33. Um, Julia and I were sitting on the couch talking this morning when they came to pick up Indy. So he kind of did a caricature of us and has us just chit-chatting away. My pajamas actually were black and red. So you see how he switched the colors up, hey? <laughs> so again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.